Hello everyone, my name is Seyush Bordave and welcome to Khatira IS Academy. We have already discussed uh, questions of UPSC CSET paper on mathematics. Now, in this video, we are going to start the uh, reasoning part of UPSC CSET 2020. So, as you know that uh, this is the sectional analysis of the whole paper and you can see that the, in this today uh, CSET 2020, the portion from the reasoning is only 14 compared to 43 from mathematics. So it is a question from direction sense. As you can see, a man walks down the back side of his house straight 25 feet, 25 feet. And then he turns towards the right and walks 30 meters. Then he again turned towards the left and he again walked 25 If he how if his house is facing east, let us we know that this is north, east, west, west, and this is south. Let us consider this is this house. Okay, it is facing which direction? East. Okay. Now see, he is moving back side, means from this side. What 25? After that, he turns right. Means if he is facing this direction, he is going to. So after 25 meter, he is going right. So again, he is moving 15 meters. After reaching this point, he turns left. It means this direction. And again moves 25 meters. Here he moves 25 meters. Okay. If he is passing this, what direction from the starting point now he is available? Now, this is the final point and this is the initial point. With respect to this point, he is facing this direction. So, we can see that this direction is nothing but in between north and west. So what is the direction? This direction is north-west. So, the current option is D, north-west. So it is a question from uh, statement and conclusion. So let's start the question. All cats are dog. This means uh, if it is a cat, then this is dog. Let's see the second statement. All cats are black. It means this is cat and this is black. Okay. Now let's see the conclusion. All dogs are black. Okay. All dogs are black. So from this two statement, we cannot determine any particular conclusion about relationship of dog and dog, about dog and black. So directly you can say that this statement is wrong. Why? I am repeating again. We cannot deter any particular relationship in between a black and dog. So this statement is wrong. Now, let's see the second statement. Conclusion 2. Some dogs are not black. When there is a statement is in negative form, it means are not black. It is a negative sentence. When there is a statement in negative sentence, we should always try to draw alternative diagram. So we have already got this alternative diagram, uh, one diagram, but we should now try to uh, find alternate diagram which may uh, opposite, which may be opposite to this line. Okay. See, this is. Cat. Okay. So this is suppose dog as it is saying that all cats are dog. Then it may be possible that this is black. Then conclusion 2 is also satisfying because all cats are black and all cats are dog. So it may be an alternative alternative uh, figure. So if we consider this alternative figure, then we can say that conclusion 2 is not correct. So we can say that both conclusion 1 and conclusion 2 both are incorrect. So we can go for option C. Neither conclusion 1 and conclusion 2 is correct. So in this question, there are two persons, A and uh, the second person is B. It is said that A is 16 from the left. Suppose A is in here. And it is 16 from the left. It means there are 15 persons at 
this side of the age is 16 portion between there are 15 percent from the left side of A from the neck. Okay. Now B is 18 from the end. Suppose B is in this position and there are 18 percent in that 18 from that side it means there are 17 percent in the left side of B. Now there is a third person, which is Z. And it is said that 11 from the A wants the right A. It means to that side. And third from B wants the A right side. So Z must be somewhere here. Okay. And it is said that it is 11 from A. It means in between A and Z there are 10 persons. Alright. And in between B and so it is said that third from B, it means there are two persons in between V and Z. Okay. Now our job is to find out how many persons. First job is to find out the how many persons in between A and B. So let's find out. See, total person between A and Z is 10. Okay. Now uh, in by inputting V. We can say that persons in between B and Z is 2. So including B, this will be 3. So we can say that there are persons of 7 which is in between B and A. So let me uh, let me make this clear again. There are 10 persons between A and Z. Now we have to find out the number of persons between A and Z. How to find out? We have already known this number of persons here is. So by including V up to this point, the number of persons become 3. So persons in between A and B becomes 7. So here 7 persons. Now we have to find out how many boys are there in total. Okay. Now see, here it is 15. Now from A is there, so 1. Then in between A and B, there are 7 persons. Again, for B, we put 1. Again from B and Z it is 2 and Z. After that, Z. After Z. Okay. Now Z. We don't know that how many values is uh, after this Z. Okay. Z. Total is 17 from to this. Okay. Including Z. Up to here it is 3. So here persons with number of persons available after z is 14 total is 17 this is 2 plus 1 3 so 17 minus 3 that is 14 so plus 14 and we can get the total as 41 this is b b is the correct answer here so in this sentence actually it is really complicated question for in the point of view of Arrangement. Okay. Just try to find out number of persons in between particular persons. Okay. If you try to find out particular shortcut method or shortcut thing, it will be really, really difficult to find out because the question is really tricky. If the question is straightforward, only then we should try to uh, do it in a particular using shortcut formula. Okay. According to me, this should, problem should be uh, followed by using real concept not using any shortcut and you should uh, do this kind of question without using shortcut but using a particular conceptual your own conceptual method so this is a question from data sufficiency here three statements are given and one question is there first read the question after it go for a statement what is the question who among a b and c and d is the youngest what is the question? We have to find out the youngest one. Okay, let's see. C is younger than D. So, can we write C is younger than D? But older than A and B. Okay, let's, for this, uh, for right now, just do not consider this. We will consider it later. D is the oldest. Okay, we cannot do anything with this statement because it is already there. A is older than B. Okay. Now consider this statement and this statement. Here C is older than A and B. It means A and B must be in that side. Okay. And it is said that A is older than B. So we can say that 
A is ordered in B. So we have already got the sequence. B, then A, then C, then A. So without using statement 2, we can get the exact rank even sequence of their uh, A's. So from here we can say that who is the young, youngest? B is the youngest. So we are using statement 1 and statement 3. So we do not use this statement 2. So we can see that option B is the correct option because we are using statement 1 and statement 3. But, but statement 2 is not used here. So statement 1 and statement 3 is together sufficient to give the correct answer of the question. So it is one of the very easiest questions which should never uh, leave this kind of question. Okay, see, this is the second statement based question. There is a question. First, always read the question. After that, read the statement. Okay, what is the question? Among four members, P, Q, R, S, which one is the largest? We have to find out the largest one. Now let's check the statement. R is greater than P and Q. Okay, from here we know that R is the largest one among P and Q. What about the second statement? S is not the largest one. If S is not the largest one, obviously only option available for us, which is the greater, greatest, that is R. So by using S1 and S2, we can easily find out that R is the largest one. So as we know, both statements are used, so we can go for the statement C. What is the statement C? Uh, option C? S1 and S2 together are sufficient to give that answer. But alone, it is not sufficient to give the answer. So option C is correct as we are using both the options to detect the answer, to detect who is the largest among PQIS. So it is again a statement based question in this kind of question. We should always try to first read the question. This is the question here. After that, we will read the statement. Now what is the question? If n is a unique necessary number between 10 and 20, what is the value of n? We are going to find the value of n. So, then let's find. n is a prime number, okay, no problem, okay. n leaves a remainder 1 when it is divided by 4. See, when a number is divided by 4 and leaves a remainder 1, and the number is in between 10 and 20, then the first number will be 13. Because when do we Divide 13 by 4, we will get a remainder uh, 1. Now the next number will be 17 because just divide uh, 13, uh, 17 with 4, we will get a remainder. And these are only two options. We do not get more than this. And now we can see that both 13 and 17 are prime numbers. Now we are confused. What to do? We get two numbers of n where both are prime number. Both are in between 10 and 20, and in case of 4, when we divide it, both by 4 we will get a remainder 1. So we cannot determine what exactly the number is. So by using both the statements, we cannot determine the answer. So as it is a question from data sufficiency, we can say that S1 and S2 together are not sufficient to answer the question. So the correct option is D here. So it is a question from, you can say, coding decoding, but so in this kind of question, it is a very common question because I have discussed this kind of questions earlier also, okay. Uh, so just here in this kind of question, we have no other option other than just put every option in the question, okay. And I have already done it again and again, so I know that option C is correct, just put every option one by one in this gap and by using option C, we will get a particular uh, sequence in this code. For example, let's put here A, C, C, E. Then we will get A, B, A, B, A, B, C, B, C, B, and C, D, C, D, C, D, E, D, E, D. So a particular order is followed by using option C. So just you put every option in this question and try to get that answer. It is the only way to get this kind of answer. It will take time, time but uh, it is but it is not a very tough question at all. So I hope you have uh, paused the video and uh, read this question. Suppose this is a class, okay? And this class consists of three different sections or groups. There is A, B and C. Alright. If 
one student from group A and two students from group B are shifted to group C. Okay, it means one student from A to C move and from B to C two students move. Now, what is asked? What happened to the average weight of the students of the class? Now, see, they are moving within the group, but the total number of students in the uh, whole class is same. So, th there is no effect on the total number of students. It means when the total number of students in the class is same as they are interchanging within the group, that means their average will also be remain the same. So, here we got the answer, option C. Okay, this is standard question from uh, coding and decoding. Let's see. Z is I equal to 1578 and D E F equal to 912. Okay, let's see. See. 1578. Okay. If we if you see properly, there is no relation between Z H I. But something must be related. But in indirect form. Like suppose just divide it by two. Then we will get 7, C and 8, 9. Now is you see Z. Z is the seventh number in the alphabet. H is the eighth number, I is the ninth number. Okay, let's say the same uh, coding just we have used in this next number, D E F. That is equal to 912. Just divide 912 into 2. We will get 4, 5, 6. Now let's see. D, D is the fourth number, fourth letter, E is the fifth, and the F is the sixth. Okay, four, five, six. Now, what is the what is the ABC? ABC means one, two, three. So it should be multiplied by two, just like the same way. So this will be two, four, six. So answer should be two, four, six. So which one is correct? Option C is correct. Option C is correct. So it is again a question from coding and decoding. If you see A, C, P, Q, B, E, S, C. It means there must be some relationship between the first two terms and we have to use the same relation to find out the next number. Okay. See A, it becomes B. So we shifted one letter. Okay. What about C? It shifted D and E. It means two letters. What about P? Q, R, S, it moves 3 letters. And what about Q? It moves 4 letters. R, S, U, 4 letters. We have to use the same principle here. M, what, what is the next number? After M, that is N. Okay. So it means all the options have N first. Now N, after N, we have to add next two number. It means O, P. So next number is P. So, out of option B, C and D, these two may be correct. Okay, let's say that, see, check the next option. Z, for Z we have to add plus 3, it means H, I, Z. So, N, E, Z. So, D, D have N, E, Z. So, without checking the last letter, we have already got the answer. N, P, Z and N. So, the answer is 